the sound focus too will talk about the voiced sound. The voice. Okay, I'm going to put away the paper because right now I want you to feel the vibration because here it's voiced. We need to put your our, our fingers right here to feel. Do you feel the vibration? Also feel the vibration in your whole head by covering up your ears. You should feel the vibration in your whole head. Now, I want you to feel the vibration on your tongue. Oh, sounds like my phone on mute. It's vibrating. All right, so when we say a sound with a voiceless TH, we emit air, think, thin, thick, thank. But when we say the TH that's vibrating here, we don't need any air. We spend all of that energy vibrating the tongue. We don't need this. This. This, 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 that, 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 plural, these, 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 those, those, those. And the most common word, the, the, the. Actually, there are two pronunciations. If the is before a consonant, then we say the, the dogs. The girls, the boys, the men, the women, the professor, the students. If it's a vowel sound, then we say the, the apple, the orange, the egg, the others, the Americas. Even it starts with a letter H, like in the word hour, four hours, one hour. H is silent. So remember, we're not talking about vowel letters. We're talking about vowel consonants. Mostly they're letters, but in the case of hour, the hour. Every hour on the hour. The news is given. All right? So the hour. So we say the, the, the. The ants. The grasshopper and the ants. The grasshopper and the ants. The ants and the grasshopper. All right, another word that's very common, then, then, then. First we'll do this, and then we'll do that. First we'll do this, and then we'll do that. First we'll do this, and then we'll do that. Another one, them, a pronoun, the object pronoun. They is the subject pronoun, them is the object pronoun for he, she, it in the plural form, them. Where are my pens? Where did I put them? Where are my keys? Where did I put them? Where are my students? I can see them. I can hear them. Then we have the uh, pronoun, the possessive pronoun, theirs. That's not ours. It's theirs. Let's try some with z in the in the middle of the word. Make sure you're not putting your tongue too tightly. Otherwise, it won't vibrate well. Make sure it vibrates. Feel that vibration. Really feel it. Don't just think it. Feel it. Other. 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 Now, be careful. Don't say all. Say uh. This is the uh sound. Sometimes the letter O has a sound uh. And here, it's just like the word up. Up and down. Uh. Other. 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 The next word is further. Watch the shape of my mouth for er, er, er in both of those syllables. And the z comes in the middle. Further. Further. Even more so. Furthermore. Furthermore. Moreover. In addition. Further. That's one meaning of further as an adverb. Also, further can be a verb to further your career, to advance it, to make it go forward. Further. Rather. Rather. Now, in Britain, they say rather, rather. And in America, we say rather. So it's the a ah sound followed by z. Rather. Rather. Would you like some chocolate ice cream? Mm, I'd rather have vanilla if you have it. Oh, sure. You can have it. Without. Without. Now, this word without can be pronounced this way, z, without, and it can also be pronounced this way, th, without. Both are correct. You will be without problems if you say without or without, as long as you have th, th, your tongue out here for the th sound. Here are the ones at the end of the word, with or with depending on its environment. What comes next? Is it a vowel sound? 
with everybody. Well, in that case, it's more likely to be voiced with Ellen. I'm going out with Ellen. I'm going out with everybody. If it comes before a consonant that's voiceless, then it's likely to be voiceless too. Patty, who are you going with? With Patty. Tom, I'm going with Tom. Terry, I'm going with Terry. Karen, I'm going with Karen. So those two words, either way is fine. And you know what? Those are function words, so we don't spend a lot of time on them anyway. Now, this word is smooth, smooth, not bumpy, but smooth. Listen to the ending. It must be voiced. Feel that vibration on your tongue. <sighs> smooth, smooth, very smooth. Ah, the road is very smooth. This road is smoother than that road. This road is smoother than that road. This road is smoother than that road. This road is the smoothest of all the roads in the county. This road is the smoothest of all the roads in the county. This road is the smoothest of all the roads in the county. Okay, next word, breathe. Okay, is this a noun or a verb? Breathe. Noun or a verb? It's a verb. Verb. It's a verb. Breathe. Breathe in. Inhale. Breathe out. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Notice that this word is spelled with an E, a silent E at the end of it, and it's a verb. If we take the E away, it becomes a noun. And we change the pronunciation in two ways. The E vowel changes to eh. And the voiceless, oh sorry, and the voice changes to th. So take a big breath. Breath. Take a, take a big breath. <sighs> breathe deeply. I say so. Notice when I say breathe deeply, I don't have a lot of air, but when I say take a big breath, whoo, a lot of air, a lot of breath comes out. I'd rather go without them. I'd rather go without them. Breathe deeply and smoothly. Breathe deeply and smoothly. There are other ways to bathe. Not everyone bathes in the same way. There are other ways to bathe. Some take a shower, some sit in a bathtub, some bathe in the river. Maybe you take a hose, Psst, bathe that way. Ah, who are these people? This is their mother, and that's their father. This is their mother, and that's their father. Who are they? This is their mother, and that's their father. <laughs>